starting your online business may be a little bit trending at first. One of the hardest decisions to make when starting up is deciding which platform you are going to advertise with. In this video, we are looking at all the points to consider pro advertising your dropshipping store with Google Ad. I won't be telling you why Google Ad is perfect for you. There's a chance maybe not, but I hope to give you the right information here so you are able to make a well-informed decisions. Hi, my name is Max Klaus. Some of my friends will just call me MK. I'm a full-time digital marketer and now I'm building up my own YouTube channel to share my knowledge online on dropshipping business on every Tuesday. My vision is to be the leading digital marketing channel in the world and my mission is to provide my knowledge to empower young online entrepreneurs to create a positive change throughout their life. If you are first time watching my video, please give me a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell as well. Don't forget to leave me a comment below what type of challenging you are facing in your dropshipping shipping business or anything related with e-commerce business. We have I can make some video for you. Why does people use Google Ads for their e-commerce store? People use Google Ads for many reasons. With the main one being it, bring people to you who are already potential buyer. This means not a great deal for work is required to persuade them to buy as the intent is already there. Another big reason is the incredible machine learning which is come with it. Google Ad learns about your audience and find correlationship in buyer pattern the human brain alone cannot comprehend. This is a great help when you are getting the place where you want to scale your business. Should you use Google Ad for your dropshipping store? The main question to keep in mind is what is my end goal? Surely it's sales, right? Unfortunately, this is not that straightforward. Getting sales is actually easier part. However, getting sales and remaining profitable is what will keep your business going. Expand plays a huge part in your business. So it is incredibly important to get it under control from the beginning. Getting your name out there being with a beneficial to all the businesses. So just because a customer don't buy from you, it doesn't mean that it is a lost cost. Many don't convert at the first visit. Unfortunately, brand awareness is a metric you can measure nor put price on. It is something come along with advertising on any platform. So a visit without a sale is not wasted a visit. If you are not decided on whether you want to go on Google Ads or not for your dropshipping store, then don't worry, I collect the pros and cons of using Google Ad for you. Make sure you go through the entire video. The pro and con of advertising your dropshipping store with Google Ad. With your business goal outline a book, why don't we dip a little deeper into the pros and cons of using Google Ad for your dropshipping business. You will get engaged shopper from Google Ads. They are searching for your product or service, so they are already interested. Social media does a different as they have and put the ad in front of them and they don't have a buyer intent at that moment. Google Ad work well if your product or service is already known and people are actively searching for it. Not so well if product awareness is not so high. A good way to gauge this is by creating a Google Ad account and using their keyword planners. It's help you to understand the current trends of certain keywords, how the main searches they get per month, what they generally cost per click, and how stiff this competition is for the keyword. If you can't see your products or service in the anyway, then perhaps Google Ads isn't for use, and social media ads would be the better choice. <laughs> Analytical and integration right out of the box. One of the best features of Google Ads is the link it seamless with Google Analytics, a data tool that gives you abundance of data about your site traffic. Google Ads can track conversion via this tool and further on down the road, use this very data to automate who your ads are getting shown based on their likelihood to convert into a sales. Setting it up is a walk in a park. Even for those who are not great deal or technical experience as it is a pretty self exponentially. One of the cons for this is Google Analytica can be information overload. So it is up to you to decide which data important to you and shift through the rest can prove a troublesome at times. However, being in this industry, you have to familiar yourself with this at point or another. <laughs> You play for the click only. This is a great way to keep close wins on your spendings. With Google Ad, you can set your maximum bid per click and whenever someone performs a search, an auction happens behind the scenes 
between you and your competitors for the ranking of the page. If you bid, for example, 50 cents per click, your competitor bid 60 cents, but the customer click on your ad, then you won the auctions for the lower bid. Please note that there are few other factors to place into the ranking other than just a bid, but we will go over that on next video. The drawback of the PPC method is your search term can fall into any unrelated search query. If you're not careful, you could be paid for a click from a customer who will never buy. For example of this, if you're selling women hats, if you do not define the strictness of these terms, people such women pants or men hats could end up on your site and not a quality click. Google Ad provides automations. Google Ad has an incredible machine learning system that gets smarter as you feed in more data. This means that further down to the road, when you have a plenty of sales, you are able to hand over the wins of a keyword bidding over to Google. Google will then use the several factors such as the time, device use, keyword, and locations to determine how likely the user is to convert based on a pro data. They will then bid on your behalf based on the likelihood of them converting. This is a great feature for well converting store that want to set it or forget it, so to speak. The downside to this is if you are un getting 30 sales a month minimum, then the data is not going to be so strong and Google may just run away with your daily budget. In this event, it's better for you to know your data inside out yourself and set your cost per click manually. Breaking down your Google Ad budget blueprint. So now that you have all the pros and cons of using Google Ad, and perhaps you are convinced this is the right advertising platform to use, then now is the time to consider your budget. Google Ad is not the cheapest platform to advertise with compared to Facebook Ad. The upside is you pay for the click and not just show the ad to the people. This gives you a great control over your spending, but to begin with, you need to know what you aim to spend to getting a single sales in order to put together a blueprint for your advertisement campaign. Let us take an example. We need to spend $10 to get this sales for a product which sells for $50 and costs $20 per unit. The math in this case is really that easy. $50 revenue minus 20 cost minus $10 ads and $20 profit per sales. Now the healthy conversion rate is 5%. So we will assume that for every 100 visit our store, you we'll get expect 5 sales. So now we will slowly get an idea what we are expecting to spend on and what we should be expecting in return. So now knowing that we need to get 100 visit to get 5 sales, we can look at what we can offer spend per click. You can get it by spending 1 in 20 customer in the case you convert a sales. So now knowing that we need to get 100 visit to get 5 sales and we can look at what we can afford to spend per click. You this by saying 1 to 20 customer in the case you convert a sales and you want to spend $10 to get a sales. This is where the math is straightforward to find your maximum cost per click. $10 budget per conversion divided by 20 click equals to 50 cent maximum cost per click. You should then take this figure out to the keyword planner mentioned earlier to get a rough idea what the average CPC for similar keywords are costing. If your budget per click site is comfortable with the figure shown, then you are a good place. If it's shown for example $1 per click, then doesn't mean that you can't still go for it. Just mean that you're unlikely to get a penny of a click doing so. There is nothing wrong with no one going to tools to tools with a competition straight away on your clickbait and many would argue again doing so. On the flip side, however, ranking first on your search term mean you are the main player in that sector, which help you qualify on traffic. If your cost per click seem variable and the potential traffic seem plenty full, then perhaps Google App is for you. If either of two doesn't look promising, then consider look forward other advertising platform. Alternative, you can run test budget of $10 per day for a couple of days and gauge the receptions. Getting started with <laughs> So are you ready to get started with dropshipping? Or maybe you already started but you are looking to get more inspiration. If so, you can check this playlist up and remember stay tuned on my channel. Google Ad provides you as much as little automation as you wish as well as ability to keep a very close control over your ad spend. To use it, you do need to learn your terminology in order to determine which information is 
and isn't relevant to you. I hope to cover all of it in this video. You need to know the regardless of which advertisement platform you decide to go with. So this is not a drawback exclusive to Google Ads. Finally, for me, it's a great platform for a fairly low entry barrier, even brand new business, which provide you endless data to help you make a well-informed decisions or you just set it and forget it. Make use of the machine learning automation will provide limitless scalability. Let me know in comment below whether you are going to use Google Ad for your dropshipping store or not. Besides, I have left a link below to getting two more stores for free on Command HQ with 14 day trial. If you want to find out more on Command HQ, you can go to my previous video. $99 in Command HQ is cheaper than $29 in Shopify. If you've got any tips on Google Ad or you, if you have any questions regarding dropshipping and let me know by commenting below. Also, let me know if you have already started your dropshipping store or if you are still in the startup phase. Thank you for watching. If you are first time watching my video, please subscribe my channel and turn on the bell. I will share a lot of tips on dropshipping business and later on will be how to making money online on every Tuesday. My vision is to be the leading digital marketing channel in the world and my mission is to provide my knowledge to empower young online entrepreneurs to create a positive change towards their life. Good luck in your dropshipping store. Bye guys, see you in next video.